dripping from somewhere. Could be dripping or leaking too. Yeah, that's another thing is uh, it's not, it, it. And I had a the custom exhaust also had a straight pipe before mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and there was, it never did anything. Yeah, but it's pretty thick, huh? It's yeah. legit just that's crazy. Like usually, usually you know, Brembo's they have like yeah, yeah, they're like really intense, and these yeah. were like well, I mean, they made to fit this car, you know? Yeah, yeah. So exactly. they're really thin, cool. so you can't do much. Yeah, it's a good thing you're changing it. They're pretty bad, actually. Yeah, but the, the next actually, thing I saw. Uh, see, this is like I wish I didn't rush a lot of things, but I really needed like a car. Yeah, yeah, I know. But. Because uh, I could have definitely, that's what I'm saying, 2500, I could have gone to every little piece of the car. That's cool though, that's not a big deal. I'll check all that. Oh yeah, it was like 150, no, 100, like 30. As you can see, the brakes are kind of bad, so hopefully the caliper is okay. We don't have to worry about replacing the caliper. And then I'm going to check some other stuff on this car as well. See how things do. And uh, yeah, this car... Like I said, I mean, this this uh, engine actually will need to be uh, addressed. Uh, it has uh, the camshaft is really worn out because the maintenance wasn't done on time. So that's what usually happens, guys. You know, you have to do the maintenance on time, change oil on time and everything, because otherwise you're going to have problems like on this car where you, you know, you try to adjust the valves, but there's still there's uh, there's a lot of play in those uh, rockers because they're really worn out and the camshaft lobes are worn out because of lack of oil. Maybe the oil was starved too for quite a while, but as you saw, you know, I opened this up and uh, it's just, it was a mess. It was uh, so much oil sludge. Usually it doesn't happen with these cars, you know, especially if you change oil on time, but it is what it is. You know, we're gonna see what we can do. Maybe the owner is gonna get a, a different engine. I think he found one for a pretty good deal. So we'll see what's gonna happen. But for now, the break time here. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's not gonna like melt yeah, off or yeah. anything, you know. Do you, do you, oh, you know we're gonna need the bearing at some point so, too. Yeah, that's to like sell it afterwards or we try No, I'm just saying like once I get bored of it. Yeah. I still got like, you know. Yeah. I think it's still gonna make a profit. Like I'm still fixing, I got a bunch to do on it. Yeah. I would oh. keep one and like Mercedes or something yeah. or whatever, something else. I guess. A few moments later. Times WD-40 does wonders. Alright, just spray under that uh, boot right there. So now I kind of like, I mean, the piston moved a little bit in because it was nice. seized pretty bad. It's like it's got that ridge too. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the first thing I saw and I said uh, you got to replace it. Yeah. Jaguar. Mm -hmm. Clean everything. Comes yeah. The next day, like, it's I don't know. All right. You like some photos I took. It just seems like it. Yeah, definitely a fluid film would be nice on this car. Spray everything. Wheel wells. That thing works great, actually. Protects everything. These tires are from 2006. A little old, but hey, as long as they do the job yeah. for now, I got, I, got, I got the tires. Yeah, this is a 
new caliper definitely it looks new to me i think oh, the, okay. the caliper the itself caliper. this guy gotcha yeah not not the rotor well we'll see right now these things are this is the net yeah this is a newer caliper so and it seems they changed this hose as well on this side because this is a newer brake hose yep so they changed the caliper and the brake hose on this side i wish they did it on both sides okay. yeah i wish they took care of that uh engine oil yep. changes you know yeah didn't change oil for a long time <laughs> like crazy <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I actually made a video one time when I actually drove my car. Uh -huh. And then, so like in order to show like a cluster, you know, up close, yeah. I had to like drive like this for like a few seconds, you, you know, I couldn't see the, the road. Piece. Yeah. Also, oh like, yeah, I know, yeah, that too, yeah, actually, but that looks funny. Yeah. Though. I, I searched I think True. He's having um. That's a lot well, harder, yeah. It's like, most of the time you felt like you were going to drown. It's pretty difficult, right? Because there's already ones for new cars, not for old cars. So. They made it nice. They used a good uh, quality bolt with uh, Allen in there instead of uh, Phillips, like a lot of Hondas like to do. Phillips? Phillips, yeah. They would, a lot of Honda rotors are, yeah. they would put two Phillips Jesus. head screws in here, and you need like a special like impact screwdriver in there. Yeah. So you would okay. put it in here, you would hit it with a hammer, that thing would turn it actually. Because otherwise with a regular screwdriver you can't do it. Yeah. Like you yeah. were gonna strip yeah. those uh, screws. Yeah, there's no way. So. Oh. Damn, it's pretty badly scored. Let's see how does this puppy come out of there. It does. Yeah. Pads are really worn out. Uh, I think this one is good. It's gonna be most likely good because this one. This oh yeah, it's a lot better. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's going right. It's good. They changed the bearing on this side too. That's cool. Brand new. What brand is that? Oh. Hmm. Smells suspicious. That's brand new though. You can probably Google these numbers. Yeah. You see the numbers yeah, right here? Yeah. The E30s had uh, ABS yeah. sensors, yeah. but this is a 1985, so yeah. Yeah. it actually yeah. doesn't have that. Yeah. And it had made a noise. I'll figure it out for you. Uh, I have a zip tie too. Brand new parts. Brembo brakes. Look at that play inside. Oh yeah, yeah. The fucking inner tie rod is junk. And it's like brand new. They probably used some Chinese shit. I don't know. Or maybe the, maybe water got inside, you know? Uh, because this boot is ripped. Damn, it even has a chime? That's so cool. Has a what? Chime, like a buzzer, you know? Ping, oh, yeah, ping. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was surprised they actually had it for you. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. You wanna check your
you want to race my turbo diesel? Hell yeah, I'll race you. <laughs> That'd be funny, huh? I mean, it'll look cleaner. It'll let it breathe a little more. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a good thing. There's one yeah. that it goes out to the to the high beam. Uh huh. And so it just intakes from from the back, you know. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we finished the brakes. Now, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna jump inside. I just press the brake pedal, pump it a couple times for me. All right, guys. So there's the brakes. New pads, rotors, a lot of new stuff. It's gonna need to change quite a bit of stuff here. And this thing is missing as well. The rubber plug. But he's gonna need the tie rods for sure. At least the inner ones for now. Pretty bad. Yeah, I'm gonna put this wheel back on. We're gonna test the brakes, see how they are. A few moments later. Okay, good. Brake pedal feels good. I'm gonna make sure this is all. This was all rinsed up, so there's no brake fluid or anything anymore, which is good. We got oil. Okay, so you can just uh, start it up, I guess, and uh, see how the the pedal feels. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and start it. How does the brake pedal feel? Okay, Feels good? Okay. So what you can do right now, you can uh, go ahead and make a lap. Uh, you know, just go somewhere really quick. Exercise the brakes, see how the brakes feel. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up that car. Okay. Okay, so let's close the hood. Sound go away? Lubrication. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we'll we'll lube up the hinges later on, but yeah, she sounds like a diesel. But yeah, you're gonna probably need you're gonna need a different uh, either cylinder head or camshaft, yeah. you know. But right now you can you can drive like that, you know. Um, and then just take it for a test drive now, see yeah. how the brakes feel, and uh, yeah, let me know how it feels. Yeah, they took the flashlight, but it should be yeah. over there. BMW yeah, yeah. original flashlight. It's nice switch on here is for the AC. Oh, yeah. the oh, yeah. oh damn, I like the clock. That's cool. Yeah, and then I put a system in there. Yeah, well, I like the cluster though. Clusters are cool on these cars. Only, only issue is... Uh, oh, so we gotta reset your uh, inspection light, I guess, right? Yeah, there's a way to reset it. Yeah, it doesn't... It doesn't really 